one of the very important reason is charging if you're not charging uh, in a plug point which is proper you know connection the electrical connection is not proper that may might cause a hazard with owning an electric vehicle. We do not seem to find the reliability in terms of quality and the thrill of the speed that the fuel vehicle gives is unmatchable. And after all, we are somehow surrounded with the mishappenings occurring with the electric vehicles all across the news channels. So today, our tint and orange team have Miss Madhumita Agrawal the CEO and co-founder of Uben Electric to help us understand why electric vehicles. So I welcome Ms. Madhumita to join us today. So Ms. Madhumita, we have been hearing about Uben Electric and its Roar bike and how it is making a difference. So could you please brief us about Uben and everything about it? Thank you, first of all, uh, for having me here. Yes, definitely, uh, we just, in March, we launched our product. And yes, uh, it's making a lot of difference. So, Uben uh, is, uh, we are an electric two-wheeler manufacturing company. So, what we are focusing on uh, first is reliability. All our products are uh, focused or as we are designing and developing. One first is the reliability. Second is performance, which the consumer is used to uh, riding as we are not introducing a new product to their life. Two wheelers has been kind of in uh, their lives since ages. Then it is about the, um, when you say reliability, performance, it has to be also designed and aesthetically looking right. good. Because uh, in every consumer, it is a matter of pride to own a two wheeler, right? So that is also an aspect which is very, very important. And now we have to look at what has changed in EV, right? EV, in EV, the refueling experience, the charging issue or the charging hassle which is there, that is the impacting the consumer behavior. So at Oben, we are addressing all of it as a package which has to be given to the consumer at a cost which is competitive enough. So the reliability, performance, design and also addressing the refueling experience and giving it in a uh, wholesome package which the consumer can adapt or basically the consumer can shift to EV easily. So that is what uh, Uben stands for and that is where Roar as a product is ahead of a lot of competition in all it all these aspects so yes this is how we are you know uh, standing out or making a difference in the market uh, so what is your target audience is it the lower income group or are you segregating between the men and the women segment as well so uh, definitely roar uh, motorcycle now i won't say it's only for men or uh, women because women are also riding uh, motorcycles nowadays so uh, it's open to anyone can buy but the target audience for us uh, where we are kind of uh, placing this vehicle is from the age group of uh, you can say 18 to 35 uh, a person who is maybe a student uh, dependent on parents or a you know uh, a person who has just joined a job or a new couple who got married so these are the segment which we are kind of targeting as a consumer uh, so don't you think that this particular 18 to 35 years old segment is the one that actually looks for the thrill of speed so I think in EV, maybe this is a myth, uh, if you know, you drive, uh, when you ride a motorcycle, EV motorcycle, 
the performance is much much better than a ice uh, you know ice motorcycle so there is thrill what is missing you know is the sound because in evs there is no sound so maybe the consumer might miss that but in some of the you know belt drive uh, motorcycle there is some sound and some vehicles some oems are also putting artificial sound but as a uh, company we feel that you know uh, when there is performance there is uh, actually when you ride it you really feel the thrill there and you should uh, you know come and uh, ride our road once so what the consumer will miss is the sound which i think they will get used to it because it's a new shift happening but i won't say they will miss the you know kind of a thrill or the speed or acceleration uh, it is the acceleration like in road we have acceleration 3 second uh, 0 to 40 which is like very good compared to any ice uh, you know vehicle so i don't think they'll kind of you know miss that thing but yes sound they might okay but there is some sort of a subconscious factor that even if they are riding their bike up to you know 80 km per hour speed or maybe 100 but somehow they feel like that this particular bike is compatible to you know go even till 200 km per hour so don't you think this is going to affect their uh, psychology correct in opting correct. adopting this so basically if you see in road what we have is uh, the idc range is 200 km if i want to really go in you know city mode or uh, normal riding so it's 150 km so now in 150 km if uh, as already mentioned it's a daily purpose vehicle right when you, you in a daily purpose vehicle max is your 50 km you know max highest if a person is riding going to office maybe from office going to client's place or something then it is 50 km so i think that will be very very comfortably uh, you know used by the consumer and the other aspect of it just in a case of emergency or anything uh, as when we are kind of coming up with 12 uh, 12000 plus charging stations you know uh, partnering with third parties and all so that gives us a, gives the consumer a lot more comfort when they are planning a you know kind of a long day uh, riding in the city so then that is something we have also taken care that to give them the initial comfort but the range in the vehicle is apt for a uh, person for their day to day activity and is it restricted to the terrains that if i am living in a metropolitan city uh, maybe delhi which is a complete plain or if i am living in the himachals or the uttarakhand is there some sort of a performance lag that i can face in different uh, terrains so yes in evs what happens uh, definitely when you go up the hill there is uh, the range reduces so there is a lot of uh, technical innovations happening so that technology uh, change or uh, upscaling of the technology that is happening this is a new industry right we are uh, from when the first vehicle in ev a car which was launched to now there is a lot of technology evolution that has happened similarly these things will be i think uh, evolve a lot of uh, r&d is happening better battery chemistry a lot of uh, different integration processes are coming so yes when you go to a um, uh, ride on a normal terrain and ride on a uphill there is a uh, impact but yes there are innovations also happening to address that uh, issues okay more or less it is a uh feasible and preferable to ride on a plane yes yes okay so right now there are already several existing automobile brands that have come up and yet to come with their electric vehicles suppose oben uh, has developed the reliability among its customers but what makes you think that you would be able to compete with them because they have an established brand image okay when we started this we knew that you know there are established brand right it's not we were not aware of what we first picked up was uh, as you rightly said that if we establish that it's a reliable brand so first we picked up that the product should product is the hero 
it should speak for itself okay you have to build a great product because it's a consumer <laughs> facing uh, commodity so that is what the first target is once you build a right kind of a product as the market is massive you know world's second uh, automotive or two wheeler sorry that i put two wheeler market so ma market is massive and if you have a right product and you have a right plan to move ahead i think you can sustain in the market because it's about having the right product right kind of funds right kind of uh, you know marketing then i think things will play uh, play well if you have that kind of a strategy to move ahead okay and uh, when we think of the safety concern how will you you know convince the buyer because uh, in the past one month we have observed several mishaps that are happening with electric vehicles so at this point of time how do you think you can convince the buyer to buy the oben road bike or you know to own yeah. any electric vehicle so uh definitely this is a new uh, tech which is being introduced to consumer so what uh, we strongly believe is one is there is very very low awareness among consumers right because when you are giving them a new kind of a technology there has to be a hand holding done there has to be some awareness and knowledge sharing needs to be done that's the first thing coming to the point that what uh, you know the incidents that is happening and which is really really sad to hear because deaths happening and all so there are a lot of thing uh, you know one is as a consumer you give me a new kind of a product but i don't know how to use it okay. if the product is made for a different purpose am i abusing it right am i if the product is made for certain kind of weight you know uh, payload but am i abusing as a consumer did anyone tell me that you cannot use it beyond the you know uh, payload okay because in india people use uh, two wheelers for two people riding in bad roads putting a you know luggage on it and uh, driving riding rash so there is a lot of different dynamics how people use product in india but if we are getting a product from outside from a, a, a you know from a outside country there the climate is different there the usage uh, use case is different there the roads infrastructure is completely different and there the demographic of people is different the height weight and if it is used by one person two person so there is a lot of um, low awareness among consumer from the consumer side i would say so you think that all these you know accidents that have happened are due to the consumers ignorance so it is more about the product what it has been made and that has been uh, that has a different use case and if the uh, consumer doesn't know where to you know where if one of the very important reason is charging if you're not charging uh, in a plug point which is proper you know connection the electrical connection is not proper that may might cause a hazard for example if i am uh, you know swapping the battery mm. if the battery falls as a consumer it's heavy the battery is heavy and i'm not able to manage and it falls i don't really know that if there is a damage that has happened i and plug it back so then i will uh, i am i am ignorant right as a consumer so that might damage my vehicle the vehicle's capacity is to uh, take one person you know of 60 kg or 70 kg but i am not aware that if i put uh, you know 150 kg plus uh, a load and then i take in hot climate it will catch fire so it's i won't say it is the onus is on the oems that they have to kind of when they are making some product they should create this awareness the hand holding hmm. to the consumer it because it's a new tech we are saying if there is a mobile phone new introduced because mobile revolution when right. happened there was a lot of uh, you know knowledge transfer videos or whatever how to use it hmm. similarly how to use a ev and that ev made for what purpose hmm. that has to be transferred that knowledge has to be transferred i see a huge gap there where uh, you know the awareness for the consumer 
how to use the product is very minimal we just give them a product and you know you figure out so that is not what as oem i think that is what um, every stakeholder has to take a onus on so don't you think there is a like a lot of compromise in terms of the use case for a consumer because if i am used to you know uh riding my activa with someone behind me and i would be having an electric vehicle i would be limited to carrying maybe my heavy luggage or a heavy bag or having someone so don't you so think so that is where hmm. uh, i think you know as i said every vehicle is made for a use case right when you are b2b you are selling some vehicle hmm. it should have that kind of capacity you know uh, that's one it uh, the battery chemistry should be that it can take up the indian climate okay so one is the awareness of the consumer the other is the oems uh, what the oems are selling right so the vehicle has to be made for b2c vehicles are different or rather right. uh, let me not put it that way the use case what we have in india the vehicle has to be made as per that you cannot get a vehicle from outside which is used for a different purpose and give it to the consumer in india because here every day we are doing stunts on the road right because of the roads every day uh, we carry a family we drop our child we you know drop our th- so the vehicle has to be made as per that so if you get a vehicle from outside of india it is not meant for indians no so that is the thing that is where oems those who are making vehicle in house i think ether is not uh, catching fire why because that is the reason they have made it in house so that is where even oben is uh, moving ahead of making a product in house which is meant for india which is compatible to yes the compatible to the environment climate the battery chemistry has to uh, sustain this tropical climates uh, how are you designing the vehicle how the battery is placed whether it's a fixed battery whether it's a swappable mm. uh, swappable battery what is the payload there is a lot of thing you just cannot get a product from outside and it's not a mobile phone it's yes. a product uh, it's a automotive two wheeler product and with where lives are uh, at stake so i think that is what uh, is the safety measures which oem should mm-hmm. take that's the onus on the oem so this sort of uh, advancement has yet to come into the india i think there are very few companies like us those who are making uh, product in house benchmarking indian uh, climate indian demographics mm-hmm. and people and making the product there are very very few uh, you know uh, players there are many traders who are trading in indian market who are getting uh, containers from outside and just shipping it and providing to the consumers mm. and i think they will be after mm. these uh, the kind of uh, incidents has happened which is really really uh, very sad and also makes us think rethink everyone that life cannot be that cheap right a uh, human life cannot be that cheap mm. so that is where we feel uh, this will weed out a lot of uh, low quality product which is not meant for india the, those pr- products are meant for other countries they are not meant for india so the players or the oems those who are making product for india for indian climate mm-hmm. indian uh, consumer will stay sustain so the companies that are making that are manufacturing this product in house is entirely edging over the limitations that you just mentioned yes, yes. so uh, on an oven roller bike i can have someone behind me yes absolutely okay. so it, the payload that, uh, allows uh, that yeah okay that that sounds good so also uh, when it comes to the battery uh, when we think of the electric car the cost of replacing the battery goes from 6.5 lakh to i think more than 8 lakh So, what do you think? This, uh, this, where I, as a consumer, have saved a lot of fuel cost uh, by having an electric vehicle. If my battery is somehow destroyed or there is some fault that occurs, how will I, you know, manage the cost? And what is the cost of exactly changing the battery? So, basically, uh, okay, in Uber, what we are offering consumer is a three-year warranty, right? so in 3 year warranty you mm-hmm. can uh, cover as per the our battery chemistry you can drive for 60000 km 
okay so which is a very good range after 60000 km you can avail the extended warranty based on your uh, product so that is uh, quite a comfortable uh, kind of a kilometer in a life of a vehicle that 60000 mm-hmm. km you can ride with one uh, within that uh, mm-hmm. warranty period and then you can have a extended warranty so that is a kind of a solution or proposition that we are giving to the consumer so that they have that ease uh, if there is a replacement ever required due to any anomaly they need not stress until they have you know done the 60000 yes thousand yes year. if any mm-hmm. anomaly happens there is a warranty period 3 years and they can also purchase a extended warranty uh, so right now we see that for next 5 to 8 years 10 years they will coexist so um, it won't be a hundred percent though mm. you know there are reports of mckinsey there are reports of big uh, firms talking about uh, mm. there will be a hundred percent shift by 2030 and all that but uh, we feel now it will be coexist till we kind of get that kind of battery chemistry where we can uh, you know have more range with less uh, weight you know that kind of uh, chemistries better technologies so we think that it will coexist for some time and then as there would be evolution in the tech side technology getting mm. better there would be a kind of a so you think that electric vehicle would definitely have an edge over the fuel vehicles yes yes as you move forward yes because there is a lot of innovations happening lot of r&d is happening to you know make it much much better and uh, as it is the first rider is your environment mm. right for shifting to ev the kind of uh, you know impact it is bringing so uh, the innovations happening to make it a better uh, you know option better option to for transport yeah